Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mar, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can make a backup of the project that is inside the PLC. Okay, so by this is a backup of only of the binary code. It's not that you are going to be able to open through these files in the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC, the project will not, it's not like that. So let's go on the presentation, see how we can make a backup of the binary code and the variables uh, in case we need to have a hard copy and need to replace. We don't have the code to put in another controller. Okay. So let's go to the presentation now. So the idea of this is, okay, I have the PLC A and PLC B. So using FTP, I'm going to grab from the PLC A all the binary code that is inside, make a copy or something, or use the same files in our PC and send it to the PLC number B to have the same application. Okay, so basically that would be the idea of this backup project. Um, then in order to perform this, what we need to do is to activate the FTP port on our controller. By default, it's disabled, so we need to enable using the commissioning and go to the Ethernet and enable it. Then, what we need to do is to basically read the parameter for this part. It's the same thing, but a little bit slower. So, if you want to perform the FTP, uh, FTP, if we grab the PLC and just in case something is disabled, we're going to see that message. Okay, so what we need to do is to enable it. By enable it, you can easily open any other project. Okay, so let's do this. I have this application running on the PLC. Okay, so in case I lose it and I really need that for the information, I'm going to open the installer. So there is no application at all, okay? And then I'm going to use over here. And one seventy two. One seventy two. Where is it? Here. I'm going to add it into my new project, okay? New project, nothing on it. So what I'm going to do is to configure how I'm going to communicate with it. So I'm going to use mode TCP. Yeah, let's use small TCP. Need to activate and put the IP address. One two one six seven one seven two. So I'm going to connect to it. So in this case, it tell you, okay, there's an application in it. You don't have it. Do you want to still connect? Yes. Good. So now I'm connected. You can see. Over here that I have connected and in the bottom over here I connected. So if you don't have the application, okay, by any reason you don't have it, you can go to all parameters, connect even if it's Ethernet or Mod TCP, you can connect. Um Modus serial via the USB cable or the Ethernet, you can connect over here. So what you need to do is to connect. And read which is the if you're using cable connect via cable and read the ethernet folder just in case just to know which is the actual ip address of the equipment simple just to have an idea where i am so these are these parameters then you just need to go over here and enable the ftp in case you're using any other uh, FTP server uh, client. So enable this part and enable the HTTP and ETH just in case so you can connect via Ethernet later. So once you are connected and figure out that everything is fine and available for us, then we can perform something called the FTP browser. Okay, just go over here just to check something is missing. Yeah, so what we need to do, okay, is to open file browser. 
So over here, just remind you that this is not the application. This is the installer. You don't have any application. Open file browser. Reviews. Okay. No. This another. Okay. This another server already. Close server. Let me check again. Open file browser. Just let me check. I need to delete the service just by one second. Okay, I believe I found the other gateway. I just opened the control, the task manager, and the just to load the gateway. So now, perfect. It's open and it's open in the other window. I just go here. So once we are inside this, we should be able to see this folder. And here is the binary code of the PLC. So we just need to copy all this. Copy this. I'm going to put it here in this backup code. Just going to copy and paste it. So for it to finish. So the idea now is to have the code the binary code as a backup in our controller in case we just need to copy and paste it and restore it in case there is a modification or something that we don't know to have the status of the controller so um okay this is done now now that we have this um what i'm going to do is to delete all this because I don't have two PLCs, I shall have one. I'm going to delete the data. Before that, um, I'm going to continue with the process to copy the data, and then I'm going to delete this part. So, I'm going to show you that here on the display, I have a number four. Okay. I have the number four over there. Let's just wait for the display to. Okay, you can see now that you have training and they have the number four over there. So, what I can do is to delete all this so it will start the application without anything. But what I want to do is to make a backup of the actual variable list. Okay, so I'm going to do that later. Another solution to grab the data is to use FileZilla. Uh, so the, the host is going to be the IP address, the username administrator, and the password by default is um, password, lower case everything, and the port is the port that you have enabled previously. So make a backup. I'm not going to use the FileZilla, uh, but I have already created binary code using the open file browser. So now is the real thing. So in order to send the or grab the data that we want, okay, there is a command using the USB host command to send the parameters of the PLC into a USB. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to connect the USB over here first. So the USB is formatted. I'm going to remove it over here and put it on the PLC. 
So what we need to do now is to open the here the installer. I've noted my application as you can see. And here we just need to go to USB host and like here we just need to read this part. There is no command. No command executed. So here we just perform a uh, number 10. Save. So save the parameters into a USB. So we execute this. We read. Okay, it's done. So we have saved into the USB the parameters. So now I'm going to remove it. I'm going to put the USB back into here. And now, as you can see, I have the param dot, which has the complete list of variables, okay, of the PLC. So in my case, I have already defined one with the number four. I know that that body will, um, you know, that variable with the number four is the, this one, one, six, five, five, two, one, six, five, five, two, it has number four. Okay. So if I want, I can change this and put the number five and save it. Now that I save it, what I can do is to remove everything from the controller. Uh, or, yeah, just remove everything from the controller. So, I have this already connected with the PLC. Okay, now I'm going to delete it. Yes. So now that I have deleted, when I power cycle the PLC, just close the connection. I'm going to disconnect from the PLC. Now I'm going to power cycle it. And now that I power cycle it, we shouldn't be able to see anything loading. So there is no code, no HMI, it's going to be blank PLC. So we're searching for a PLC, not loaded because there isn't anything, no loaded and no loaded everything. Okay, so the application is going to be empty. So now that we have already the backup and everything, what we need to do is to connect with the controller once again, open file browser. Okay, as you can see, it's nothing. Just this part doesn't make anything. We just go to the backup code. Copy. Paste it. Just wait for it to complete but what we have done is to make the backup of the binary code and the backup of the parameters put it in the usb one part of the parameters and the other one in our laptop so after that i have banished the code inside the plc so you can see it's empty it doesn't have anything now what i'm going to do is to copy the backup into the plc back again just to roll to the PLC back again, and then I'm going to perform a load from the say data of the USB. And then it should be fine in theory. Just wait for it to finish and see the behavior of the controller. It shouldn't affect until I power cycle it. Okay, good. So, 
what I need to do is to go over here. First, I need to connect to the controller. Now I disconnect, as you can see. I can connect, connect it. And here, before doing this, I rather prefer to send the um, the application. So all we need to do is to power cycle it. On the power cycle, you will find the PLC code and the HMI code. Okay, so in that area that was with the number four, it was previously. So what you can do now is to change it to, for example, number two, just to show you that it's going to change after I make the, the process, uh, because I didn't clean with the new application or a different one. Okay, so it has the number two in it. Now I'm going to connect the USB cable the USB stick, I'm going to connect to the controller, connect anyway, here I'm going to perform a low parameter, so it will override the value that is number 2 for the number 5 I believe, or number 4, right, and you can see I have the number 5 over there, okay, so this is also a good, good way, we have a copy of the binary code and also of the variables that we have so if I have the latest configuration everything in the view so if we continue with the application the presentation we have already performed this part so the first thing is going to the USB as I show you save and then load into the other PLC in my case is the same one but you get the idea. So make a backup of the parameters, then connect to the new PLC, and we have already done this part. So, so you can see this is how you can make a backup project of the actual code that you have. And by project, in this case, is the binary code that is inside and also with the variables. So for this, you will need, there is no need to have your application or the original application. It's good to have the machine expert already installed in your laptop so you can. Uh, connect via FTP and make some initial modification, not the settings on how the PLC works, but just the PS communication. So you can connect via FTP and then perform the operation of the USB commands that we have. So this is it, how we can make this backup of the binary files and parameters uh, using the software without the actual application. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.